In this video, I'll cover the auto routing feature in Fieldwork. So from the calendar view on either day, week, or month view, when you have the routes tab selected, you should see a start routing button. Go ahead and click that button. I've already done so and opened up a tab and you then are presented with the automated routing page. From this page, pick the dates you would like to include in your routing the number of stops, whether or not you want to include a lunch break. If you would like to include scheduled work orders, by default, it's including work pool. And you can assign based on best fit for multiple technicians or keep all jobs with the desired or already scheduled technician. And then create a tolerance level that would adhere to either the customer preference or to the current scheduled date. After you click to start routing, you will receive a message in green saying that the routes are being calculated and you'll receive an email. So after a few minutes, check your email and you should see a cluster results for the dates and then click preview. Once you click preview, you're presented with the current date. However, since I didn't select, if you remember, my cluster results are August 1st. My jobs won't show up until August, so you page over to August, and then my appointments start to appear. In my test, I don't have uh, actual um, decent data, that's, so it's all putting it together in one, at one time frame. However, in your in your account, you should see your appointments spread out and with appropriate times. So as you page over, you'll see all of your jobs here in the calendar and obviously you can reduce the number of routes you're displaying at one time to see everything in uh, a wider column format. And that essentially is the calendar and routing. So again, underneath the miniature calendar on the calendar page. When you click the Start Routing button, that will initiate the auto-routing feature.